Welcome back to Von Blues Boxing, man. What's up with everybody, man? I hope y'all had a good weekend. Enjoyed that Super Bowl game yesterday, man. Um, shout out to Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady, you know, winning his seventh uh, Super Bowl, his fifth um, Super Bowl MVP, man. Just an excellent performance from Tampa Bay offensively, defensively, man. Just wanted to show a little love today, you know. And I hope y'all had a good weekend, man, and I hope y'all having a good Monday. Um, so I wanted to give my predictions for the Joe Smith Jr. versus Maxim, uh, Maxim, uh, Valasov. Um, the vacant WBO light heavyweight title is online, on, on, online for both fighters. So whoever wins becomes the WBO light heavyweight champion. And, um, that's the card that, that um, that's a card that's going to be on Saturday on ESPN Plus. So uh, check it out, guys. Um, if you don't have ESPN Plus, it's only $5 a month, man. So sign up. Go get that, man. They be having some good boxing matches. You get all the top-ranked cards. You get all the, um, a lot of... Um, frank warren's uh boxing promotions cards on there too like that so it's worth it man it's worth the five dollars uh it's really worth it i've enjoyed it man i've been really really enjoyed it as a boxing fan and as a mixed martial arts fan myself um but um i'm gonna start with uh all the fights on there and um i'm gonna tell you um I'm going to start with all the notable fights, all the fights that people know, you know, all the fighters that's known and the more notable fights and stuff that's on this card. So I'm going to start with, with the first notable fight on the card is going to be Jared Anderson versus Kingsley Ibe. And um, Jared and Alan Anderson are known as Jared, the real big baby Anderson. Um, pretty good prospect, uh, pretty good young prospect out of the United States, um, out of Toledo, Ohio. Has really good amateur experience. Probably the best young prospect from America right now, heavyweight prospect in America right now. So, um, yeah, so Jared Allen is coming off a... Um, what's it called uh stoppage of lewis pina that's the last time he fought knocked him out stopped him um so jared allen is seven and zero with seven knockouts so kid has power has some good boxing skills pretty good fighter pretty good young fighter um they're moving him at a good pace you know getting him get the right opponents and just building his confidence and building his skill set so he's fighting kingsley ibe and so kingsley ibe his last fight he fought guido valanello nello and guido valanello is a um another pretty good prospect heavyweight prospect out of italy um i believe he was on the olympian team for italy too um last time he fought him and guido fought to a majority draw and i didn't think people seen that coming i think people thought guido would win that fight but it was a majority draw so uh kingsley is no slouch you know what i'm saying he's five and one one win one i mean one loss one draw and he's got four knockouts so he's got power in his punches you know what i'm saying so he's a nice opponent like this is a nice little step up early in jared anderson's career not a huge step up but a nice little step up a good quality opponent that's going to come in for at this point in his career and come in here and challenge him and you know in different ways it's going to be a nice little test for jared allen and um i wanted to give my um so basically you know um i want to give my predictions on that fight i'm gonna go with jared allison anderson unanimous decision i think jared anderson is gonna um just box smart intelligently use his distance pick his shots you know pick the times and pick his shots and stuff like that pick the moments to try to hit kingsley i bet i don't think he's gonna go out there and try to just slug it with i bet kingsley because kingsley's got power i don't think he's gonna go out there and just slug it with him i think jerry gonna stick go back to his boxing roots he's just gonna outbox kingsley you know try to wear him down and stuff like that and i think he'll get the win i think he'll get a unanimous decision clear cut unanimous decision and he'll keep moving on i don't know about a stoppage if he gets a stoppage i'll be impressed but i think it's going to be um, unanimous decision then the second notable fight we got adam lopez versus jason sanchez now adam lopez in at the featherweight division at 126 pounds that's where they'll be fighting at now um if you know anything about adam lopez he is 14 and 2 with six knockouts um adam lopez last time he fought he fought luis Korea and he got a majority decision so it was a really 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 close fight wasn't his best performance but he got the decision got out of there and got the win but he's had his two losses were to quality opponents and world champions and um Oscar Valdez he lost he got he was stopped in that fight against Oscar Valdez and he lost a majority decision to Steve Fulton another close fight he lost he lost a really really close fight to Steve Fulton when he was fighting at 122 pounds so um you know he's fighting Jason Sanchez now see Jason Sanchez also fought Oscar Valdez but he lost like 
clear cut. I, I mean, it wasn't. I mean, he had his moments, but it was really like a he he just lost convincingly to Oscar Valdez. And I mean, he got you know. But then he came in his last fight. He lost to Chris Diaz. He lost the unanimous decision. So you know, Jason v Sanchez and Adam Lopez. This is gonna be a pretty good fight because Jason Sanchez is gonna come and fight he's gonna all oh, that's one thing he does he may not be you know jason may not have this this and that but at the end of the day man that man is gonna come and fight you know he's 15 and 2 um so he's gonna come you know it's gonna be an exciting fight i think that's gonna be a very fun exciting fight and that fight you know what i'm saying i think adam is the more maybe more the more skilled fighter maybe the one that's fought at the higher level but i think in this fight i'm going with um adam lopez i think he'll get the unanimous decision i don't think he'll stop jason sanchez because say jason sanchez hasn't never been stopped in his career you know what i'm saying um he is you know he's lost convincingly or he might it might have been more um, one-sided in his fights but he all he's never been stopped and i don't I, I don't think adam lopez is gonna stop him but i think adam lopez will win this fight clear-cut convincingly and get the unanimous decision and keep moving on up the rankings and keep moving up you know um whatever he's sanctioned whatever sanctioned body he's under um just keep moving up the rankings you know and just keep moving um so yeah that's one of the other notable fights and then um carlos adamus was uh, as returning but i don't know who he's fighting i don't even know if he's gonna fight this is to be announced i've been looking and trying to see the update who he's fighting and it's been announced so um carlos adamus was a good top quality 154 prospect who was looking you know pretty good was looking like man he had potential you know what i'm saying and he still does you know he's 18 and one he's got 14 knockouts his last loss was uh to Patrick Teixeira really fun fight really exciting fight um I had Carlos Adams going in there I thought he would win that fight but Teixeira pulled it off he pulled it off got the win one unanimous decision hard fought fight I mean it was really exciting go check that fight out man it was a good fight right there and um so we'll see who he's fighting we'll see what's going on and then in the cold main event one of the fights I feel like people are like one of the fights I don't want boxing fans or the boxing media to slip on is the return of Richard Comey and Richard Comey will be taking on Jackson Marinez. So Jackson Marinez, oh, oh yeah. So this is a really, really good fight at 135 pounds. So Richard Comey is returning from his loss to uh, Teofimo Lopez. He was stopped in the second round, former IBF champion, 29 and three. You know, he's got, I think, 24 knockouts, really strong power puncher, got good boxing skills. Richard Comey has been around for a while, fought a really close decision, lost a really, really, really close decision in the fight that people thought he won against Robert Easter. So Richard Comey is a quality, like, um, lightweight he's in my top 10 lightweights in the world i think i don't know i think do i got Kome in my top five or top six top six of in my top 10 so uh Kome is one of the you know and he's going against jackson marinas now if you don't know about jackson marinas jackson marinas was in a very very controversial decision loss to um Roly Romero, one of Floyd Mayweather's fighters. Roly is well known in the boxing world. You know, known kid. He likes, you know, Roly like to talk, but that's just who he is. You know, and he lost a really, 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 uh, he lost that decision to him in a fight that majority of the boxing fans and boxing media and myself, we think Jackson Marinas did enough to win that fight and should have been awarded the fight. But that's boxing. It happens. You move on. But he's moving up into a, uh, I believe, a bigger step up at right now in the point of his career fighting a guy like Richard Comey, a former IBF champion, a guy who's would have had a ton experience and has been at the top level. So he's fighting. They're going to be fighting at 135 pounds. So in this fight, this is going to be a very, very, and like, this is going to be, this is going to be, you know, a very interesting fight. Because I wonder how Jackson Marinas deals with a guy like Richard Comey, a guy who has power but good, has boxing skills on top of the power, and is going to pick his shots. Who's you know who's going to take his time? You know, is Jackson Marinas really at this level? You know what I'm saying? This is a real big test for him against Richard Comey. And then for me, for Richard Comey, the test for him is how does he deal with a guy like Jackson Marinas, who's riding high, who's confident in himself, who believes in himself, and has good boxing skills and knows how to like move his feet. You know, Jackson Marinas. He got good boxing skills. He's not, I mean, he's not going to like, whoa you, but the man has good boxing skills. The man is really, you know, he moves his feet. He sticks to the fundamentals. He does the fundamentals really well. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be interesting how Richard Comey deals with that. You know what I'm saying? And um, so um, I want to give my uh, predictions in that fight. I'm going with Richard Comey. I think Richard Comey is, um, I think Richard Comey will win this fight. I think he'll win a unanimous decision. Um, 
Knockout, maybe, but I think Jack, maybe, but I'm thinking unanimous decision. I think Richard Comey going to do enough, put himself in position enough. He's going to be the more busier fighter, I think, also. You know what I'm saying? I think he have more volume. I think he's the busier fighter. I think he will get the unanimous decision in this fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if he stopped Jackson Marinas. But um, if Jackson Marinas pulled this off, man, this could be Maney. You know what I'm saying? Jackson Marinas could have one of the best damn years, best, you know, year, 2020, 2021, one of the best damn 2000. 2020s and 2021 excuse me um for a boxer you know to basically win a fight against Roly Romero um a lightweight prospect and then come over here and beat a higher level guy and Richard Comey a former IBF champion if Jackson Marinas could pull this off man damn that'd be big for him big 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 for him so um yeah so I'm going Richard Comey unanimous decision I think Richard will get the W nice quality opponent I mean for Richard Comey man this is no comeback fight this is man I was like damn Richard Comey you gonna fight Jackson Marinas for a comeback fight but Richard Comey ready to rock and then in the main event we got Joe Smith Jr. versus Maxim Valasov now Joe Smith Jr. And Maxim Velasov, this is a quality. This is going to be a exciting, fun fight. Um, Maxim Velasov is uh, coming off. Um, I think when he he hasn't fought in like almost two and a half years, and he last fought a uh, Klitschkov uh, Glowaski. Uh, the cruiserweight, former cruiserweight champion. Um, he last fought him. He lost a unanimous decision to him, but that's when he was fighting at cruiserweight. So he's came down to light heavyweight. I mean, I guess Max feels like he's better. It's going to be better at light heavyweight. Feels like he's probably going to be more stronger. You, I mean, feels like he's going to have better advantages and better, you know what I'm saying? Just it's going to be better for him at light heavyweight. So, I mean, the man wouldn't have came down that much weight if he didn't feel like that it was going to benefit him more. Maybe he feels like he's fighting guys more of his natural size than fighting at cruiserweight. And he's fighting Joe Smith Jr., who's had pro probably had one of the best damn 2020s you can have for a fighter. I mean... Uh, I mean, for real, he had one of the best 2020s you can have. I mean, he beat Jesse Hart, won a majority de uh, decision against Je Jesse Hart. Then he, after that, he comes and fight the leader Alvarez to get himself in a vacant title shot um, and stops a leader Alvarez in a fight. I thought either leader Alvarez would win. I thought I had a leader Alvarez win it. Was, I said to myself, I was like, leader Alvarez is going to win that fight. And I mean, he just went in there and he brung the fight to leader Alvarez. Man, that was crazy. Joe Smith stopped him one of the you know top 15 top 20 knockout of the year in boxing and i mean it was just mean i mean so joe smith has been like man had a renaissance in his career man and here's his chance to become a champion you know what i'm saying um he you know here's a big big chance for him to become a champion and i think if you know in this fight this is it's just gonna be you know and this fight in my prediction in this fight with joe smith and maxim uh, Volosov, I got Joe Smith stopping him. I just think Joe Smith been on a roll. I think Joe Smith will get him out of there in the seventh round, seventh to eighth round. He's going to stop Maxim Volosov. I just think he's going to put the pressure on him and his volume and his toughness and his ability to get in range, like his uh, Joe Smith's ability to walk fighters down, cut the ring on him, and start putting that hurt on him and things of that nature. Put that hurt on him. I just, I got, I got Joe Smith Jr. winning this fight, seven round TKO stoppage. Um, or knockout. So um, I believe Joe Smith will become WBO light heavyweight vacant champion. I mean, WBO light heavyweight champion, and he deserves it. He earned his way to there, you know, fighting Jesse Hart, pulling out that decision, stopping the leader Alvarez. He earned his position to get to where he was at. That was not given to Joe Smith. He had to earn it the hard way. So um, I think he'll get the win. No knocking on Maxim Volosov. I just think that Joe Smith is on a roll, and I just think he's a better fighter you know, right now. And I also worry about the layoff Maxim has had. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't fought in a long time, almost doing a year and a half. So I'm going with Joe Smith Jr. on that. And uh, yeah, that's my predictions, man, for um, the top rank card on top rank ESPN card on Saturday, February 13th on ESPN Plus, man. Go get that ESPN Plus out app, man. Five bucks. That's all it is. So um, yeah, man, make sure y'all check that fight out, man. And um, y'all enjoy yourself. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe, man. Von Blue's boxing. I'm out.